Hey guys, so in this video I'll be going over how we can calculate the number of elements inside of a matrix using MATLAB. So I'm going to start us off with a relatively easy example here. So I've got a 3 by 3 matrix here, and I want to know how many elements I've got inside of this matrix. So, you know, I can say I've got 3 rows and then 3 columns and then 3 times 3 equals 9. So I've got 9 elements inside of this matrix. Or I can just, you know, straight up start counting. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. But if you're dealing with large quantities of data, or if you're just importing information into MATLAB, you really don't want to go about counting all your rows and columns. So MATLAB has a really cool operator called NumL, or as I like to call it, NumL, which basically stands for a um, number of elements inside of a matrix. So numel, and then I'm going to open parentheses, and then I'm going to, I mean, I've got one matrix here, which is A, and MATLAB always likes to help you out here. So numel A, and then this is going to say 9. There you go. So this was super easy, but if I give you a harder example, such as, um, let me define matrix B, and then I'm going to say magic um, 24, and I'll explain in a separate video what magic means, but just for this video, just, you know, just bear with me. So this is a large matrix here, and I really don't want to start counting all my rows and all my columns and be like one, two, three, four, five, six. I really don't want to do that. So I can just do num l, num l, number of my elements, open parentheses, and then for matrix B. I've got 576 elements inside of this matrix. So that's a really helpful feature if you're dealing with large quantities of data and you want to know how many numbers you've got inside of that matrix, you can just use the NUMEL operator to get your answer. So if this video helped you, please, please just give it a like. It's really going to help out my channel. And then I'll see you guys in the next video. Good night.